Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, Mike Bossy, Connor McDavid, and Bobby Orr. These are the points per game leaders in NHL history. And by the end of this season, it's entirely possible that Connor McDavid finds himself into the top three of all time. With every game we watch McDavid play, we're witnessing history, not only statistically, but in the evolution of how the game of hockey can be dominated offensively. Since the days of Gretzky and Lemieux, the game has completely changed. Your average player and goalie is more skilled, systems are more refined, and training has become a science. We will likely never see anyone replicate the numbers that Lemieux or Gretzky put up ever again. But if there is a player who can come even remotely close in the current NHL, it's Connor McDavid. Coming into the 2023 season, Connor McDavid holds the title for the most dangerous hockey player on the planet. The guy is a freak of nature who has been driving NHL defenders and goaltenders nuts for years now. Connor McDavid is the only active player in the NHL even close to the greats in this category. The only other active player even close to McDavid is, of course, Sidney Crosby. Averaging 1.49 points per game in the modern NHL is unheard of. And when you dive into exactly how McDavid generates that type of production, you'll realize that he might be one of the most lethal offensive players in NHL history. But what exactly makes a player lethal anyways? Because there are a ton of lethal players in the NHL. In fact, every elite player has one or multiple qualities that separate them from everyone else. Meaning that when they get the puck in these conditions, they become borderline unstoppable. For Connor McDavid, there isn't a single area or scenario of the game where he isn't lethal offensively. In pretty much every offensive scenario, he has become the game's greatest threat. Let's start with entering the zone and rush offense. McDavid's primary weapon of speed here is what makes him incredibly difficult to contain. And that's because it all happens before he even reaches the offensive zone. McDavid is the king at putting himself in the perfect position on entries to get the puck at full speed. When McDavid gets the puck on the line and you're shoulder to shoulder with him at a dead start, he's hard to catch. But when he gets it with speed, he is unstoppable. And in reality, he's almost always gaining possession while in motion. For that very reason, he instantly has an advantage whenever he approaches the offensive zone. This skill allowed him to lead the league last year in goals off the rush, and it sets him in position to attack in a multitude of ways. Once he has entry with speed, he can carve up defenses at his will. His speed can back up defenders and leave room for a shot, he can decide to carry the mail and drive the net, or he can actually slow up, let the play develop, and find a teammate. This level of variability in his attack makes him so frustrating to defend, and what has compounded this is his improved shot since entering the league. Before last season, McDavid made a point to study the best shooters in the game and work on his release. So when he came into the 2022-2023 season, he scored 64 goals. This shooting threat has allowed him to capitalize on chances from range and added another layer of danger to his game. This doesn't even include when McDavid is in the actual zone. Once having sustained pressure in the offensive zone, McDavid's off-puck awareness is among the best in the world. With the puck, he can individually sustain offensive pressure with his skill set, but his ability to find space away from the puck is more impressive. Considering that most of the game is played without the puck, McDavid is incredible at understanding how and when to slip in between checks to find openings when he doesn't have possession. So much of the new age NHL is about timing, and we're seeing players and teams using anticipation and timing to attack the slot. It's no longer enough to just get to the dangerous areas of the ice and just stand there. It's about getting into that high quality ice at the correct moment. McDavid is among the best at this skill, and it makes him a threat at all times, even when he doesn't have the puck. Which if you're a defending team, it's pretty much pick your poison whether or not you want McDavid with or without the puck. Because for almost every player in the world, there's high danger and low danger scoring areas as seen here. But for McDavid, Everywhere on the ice is a high danger scoring chance when he has possession. His playmaking ability instantly makes him and his teammates a level 5 threat at all times. But when he's forced to low percentage areas on the ice, McDavid still finds a way to exploit defenses and goaltenders. Take this example here. This is a goal that we've seen McDavid score multiple times over the years, and while it might seem like a lucky bounce at first, this is McDavid exposing a goalie's RVH positioning. The RVH stands for Reverse Vertical Horizontal, and it is a technique used by goalies to play when near the post of the net. It's become increasingly popular as the game has evolved and becomes faster. However, 
the RVH does expose a large amount of net above the goalie's head and post side shoulder. So with McDavid being the offensive mastermind that he is, he is commonly exposing this by often waiting for the goalies to drop into this position and then throwing it up high or banking it off their head. McDavid always has his head up analyzing the goalie's position and as soon as he drops, McDavid pounces. Even when defenses force him to these low danger areas, McDavid's offensive mind continues to make him a threat. But when McDavid finds himself in high danger scoring areas like two on ones and breakaways, it's pretty much automatic. In two on one situations, McDavid manipulates goalies and defenders with his eyes and feet. When a goalie or defender is trying to read an offensive player, they look for a number of visual cues to help them make decisions. Whether it's looking at the head position, eye contact, top hand separation, or just overall body language in general, they are constantly looking at the offensive player trying to guess what they're going to do next. McDavid is making these defenders second guess his next move by manipulating all these types of visual cues. McDavid will open up his body to show pass and then he shoots. He squares himself with the goalie and stares him down and then he throws a perfect last second sauce to secure an easy tap in. Give him an inch and he will take a mile. This dominance carries over to his one on one game as well. Against goaltenders, McDavid's speed and hands become extremely problematic. After he's beat a defender out wide, McDavid is almost always attacking on an angle. Because of his speed, he puts the goalie in a tough position to not push laterally. As McDavid shifts towards the middle of the net, goalies have no choice but to push off to avoid him going around the pad, and as soon as they do that, a quick short side chip timed very carefully makes it nearly impossible to stop. Then you look at how McDavid consistently torches defenders in one-on-one -on -one situations. Now in order to appreciate this type of greatness, you have to understand that beating a defender one-on-one -on -one in the NHL is one of the hardest things you can do. Usually, you have the best chance of success if one, you have a speed advantage, and two, you beat the stick of a defender. If you have these two things as the puck carrier, you stand a chance to beat a defender one on one. McDavid's tool set allows him to consistently do both of these things. The speed makes it difficult to build a proper gap on him, and that leaves a triangle for a defender's stick to be completely exposed. Defenders can try and play the body, but McDavid is constantly using his head and body fakes to get the defender to just move out of his way. With every offensive situation, Connor McDavid is just two or three moves ahead of his opponent. This is clearly evident when you watch him play, but it's backed up by the stats. His numbers in the modern era have been head and shoulders above competition. And although he may never have Gretzky or Lemieux numbers, his level of offensive dominance over the league is similar to the GOATs. While there's still one very, very important thing missing for Connor McDavid, his production in the NHL against the current evolution of competition means that we're witnessing a different type of dominance that will make NHL history.